Hello, I'm Tuliwani from English and Technology here in Microsoft Teams. I will be showing you how you can set your assignment now and it will drop at later time and also in the right channel as you want it. In the tax bar on the left, I can choose assignment to take me to the assignment portal. But for me, I, I have a better way that is faster for me, that is convenient for me because I want it to drop in the right channel. So under the team, I can just click on the general channel there, general. From general, you see all the tabs as the post, file and assignment. So I can click on assignment. On the assignment homepage, you see different assignments by different teachers in my school. For us to create new, we click on create and we see assignment and we also see quiz. Quiz is for us to select a Microsoft form quiz that will be an attachment to the assignment and from existing means we want to select an old assignment to reuse. But for now, we are clicking on assignment. Then we give it a title. Enter the instruction here, instruction for the assignment, you drop it in here. You can add effects to the test using all the tools at the top here to give the text brilliant effects. Click add resources to attach links and files to the assignment. Add resources. You can add from your OneDrive, you can add from class notebook, you can add link, you can select a new file and that will be added to the file section in the team channel. You can also use this to upload directly from your device but I will not do that now. I'm going to use link to start with. So I click on attach link and I have these two options here to fill up. So the first one is to drop the link there. So I go to the website that I want to use as a reference point for this assignment. And here is the website. It allows me to copy the link from its own interface. I can also copy from up there. So I have the link copied to my clipboard. Then I go back to Microsoft Teams and I drop the link in here. Now, I want the students not to see the link directly as it is. I want them to see something unique and well customized. So this will be the hyperlink now. So I'm clicking on, I'm typing click here for the quiz or for the test or whatever you want them to see. That will be the hyperlink to the website as the reference point. So I click on this button attach so here is what the student will see that's the hyperlink they click on this it takes them to that website for them to have their assignment done I also want to show you something you can also add more files not just only one so you click on add resources again and this time around I'm going to upload a particular file from my device this is because I want them to edit a particular work for me or a, a project or something, something they can edit directly. So I click on this, then it takes me to my library, my computer, then I select the particular file that I want to use. Just for this demo, I'm picking on that. Then it will be uploaded. And when it's done, you come to the bottom here and click done. So it's there now. So um, by default, what you see is that uh, student can't edit. That's what you see at the bottom here. Student can't edit. I want them to edit this work. So I click on the three dots here. From there, you see the default is students can't edit. So because I really want them to edit this, so I will change it to students edit their own copy. This will allow each student to have a copy of his own to edit by himself, then they turn in and it gets back to the teacher. So I click on that. Students edit their own copy. 
add points or scoring grade here i'm using 10 points for this assignment you can also um, set the assignment for this class alone or you can choose more classes for this assignment to draw for more classes at a time by clicking this you can as well select this for the assignment to be dropped for selected students if you don't want it to draw for all the students now here is where we're going to post the assignment in the future you need to click edit date due so under date due you see this edit yes edit so click on that that's for the assignment to drop in the future you see this schedule to assign in the future so you see that box check the box schedule to assign in the future so you check the box it will allow you to set this assignment to drop at later time and date in the future so you don't need to worry you can do this to project all your work for a whole week i just check the box now then i set the date that i want this assignment to drop in the channel so today is 22nd i can set it to be 25th 25th then i choose the time as well you can type the time manually by yourself You can also use this icon to select from the time list. You did, you see that date now. Um, the post date is 25th. Then I need to set the due date to be after 25th or the time. So I will change that to uh, 26th. Then I'm fine with the time there. The time I set up here will be when this assignment is going to drop automatically in the channel. But now I want to turn this off because I want this to drop in the channel immediately. So I turn that off so that I can work with this. Now for close date, for the close date, I don't always touch this because if I check this box on, it means the uh, students will not be able to do this. I just turn it on now, which means by this date under here now, the student will not be able to do this assignment again so i'm going to turn it off so that my student can always access this assignment if everything is well and fine i click done this assignment will be posted immediately with late turns in allowed so that is the way it is now for the assignment to be posted where in the right place by default it's always dropping in general i don't want this to drop in general so to post assignment in the right channel i'm gonna click edit it's under settings edit and that takes me here to choose or select the right channel that i want done so now you see the assignment will be posted in the spelling channel Go through your setup again and see if there's any mistake or you have left something undone or you forgot something now i just remember this now i need to add a tag i always advise you do this that's add category add category is like you're adding a label or a tag to your assignment if you click on that you can you will see these are the ones i've created before and i can as well create a new one so i can just select which one is appropriate to what i'm posting spelling is fine so i click on spelling i can as well create a new one if i click on that then i select new category so new category allows me to just add something new here in this list then it's there permanently i can just click on it and select the one that is suitable for my assignment so if everything is well good and fine you see assign here assign here means i'm posting this immediately but if it is um posting for future if i check the box for posting in the future you wouldn't you wouldn't see assign here instead you see schedule schedule is what you see there so that's just the way it says so if it is future you see schedule if it is immediately you see assign i click assign now So here is the assignment now with the label you can see the label the tag that category which is selected now let's check for the assignment if it's posted in the right channel spelling channel it's here the assignment is here in the proper channel that i want it to be that's spelling that's where i want the assignment to drop into and not in general so it's on spelling you can see spelling there that's where we are and the assignment has dropped for me in the right channel that i want i hope you find this video very helpful kindly subscribe to english and technology please like this video and share the link as well these really do help thank you